saying to Ryan Garcia, you're young. Body shot. And he goes down. And now. And there's that left hook. Campbell thought it was. Hi everyone and welcome back. I want you to go through that Garcia punch that you all saw in that boxing match. You can see that nice left hook that he made to the rib area. Now situated under these ribs, you've got the liver. The liver is a very heavily vascularized structure that contains many blood vessels. Now why did this guy collapse to the floor and why was there a TKO? Now by making this punch, essentially what he's done, he's hit the ribs and underneath the ribs is the liver. The liver is a highly vascularized organ containing many blood vessels. And as he's made the punch with that left hook, he's forced an external compression onto that outer aspect of the liver. And as you can see in the diagram, when you compress the liver, on the outer edge, you get an area which is going to be compressed and another area that's going to extend. What that does in a highly vascularized structure such as the liver, you're going to stimulate the vagus nerve. Now the vagus nerve is a very important nerve in our body and it controls many features of what is known as the parasympathetic nervous system. Vagus nerve controls functions such as what we know as the rest and digest system. So by stimulating the vagus nerve through that impact leads to a dilation of the blood vessels. Dilation of the blood vessels meaning expansion or enlarging of the blood vessels. Now when you enlarge something in which there is blood, it leads to a drop in pressure through simple physics. The other feature that also happens by stimulating the vagus nerve is that it stimulates the heart rate to slow down, known as bradycardia, so you get a slow heart rate. So now you've got a widening of blood vessels, dropping of a heart rate. This leads to complete crash of the blood pressure. As the blood pressure completely crashes, you no longer can perfuse, meaning you can no longer maintain blood supply to vital organs such as the brain, the heart, and other major important organs. So if you cannot maintain blood pressure, if you cannot maintain blood supply to the brain, you get dizzy, you start blacking out, you start feeling like you can't breathe, you start collapsing towards the floor, you're not able, to, therefore you're not able to recover. And that's the mechanism behind this punch to this area of the body. So just to recap, a punch to that area stimulates the vagus nerve, stimulates the parasympathetic nervous system, causes blood vessels to dilate, the heart rate to slow down, and causing a complete crash of the blood pressure, which incapacitates the opponent, dropping them to the floor, meaning that they cannot continue with the fight, and you win by a TKO. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more video and high content like this, please subscribe and continue watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Look after yourselves.